There is something I've been wanting to address for a while, and I'm going to talk about it now. You see, in these relationships, everybody go through something. But in certain relationships, it's just way too much. If the adultery is there, if the beating is there, if the cursing is there, if all the bad, bad things that you don't even want to live with is there, I don't think that's a good place for anybody's child. I don't think that's a good place for anybody's sister, brother, cousin, friend, or whatever. But you see, people who go through this abuse, when they smell the coffee and finally come to their senses and say, you know what, I will leave this relationship and move on so I can finally try to identify who I am and finally try to live at peace for once and be happy because I am living in hell hole right now. And you know, it's not just women who get abused, men get abused too. So when these people make a sound decision to get out of a relationship that's not worth it, by the time these stupid, stupid people see to come advise them, these people, I feel that they are wicked. They are wicked inside and outside. Matter of fact, they've been wicked since they were in their mother's womb. They probably left their mother's womb very sore. Okay? That's when they come to say, Oh, sister, please go back to your husband, okay? Please go back to your husband. Do it for the sake of your kids. Please, ma, you want her to go back? For what? What if she ends up dead the next day? They will say, oh, brother Emmanuel, please go back to that woman. Give her another chance. Please go back. You are the head of the household. Do it for the sake of your kids. Ah! Do you want her to finish burning everything that he owns in his life? Do you want her to go ahead and set his car on fire after she have bleached all his clothes? What is wrong with you? Are you thinking, hey, what is wrong with your brain? Did Boko Bo eat your brain? Boko Bo is some kind of things we have in Liberia. Did some kind of insect eat your brain? Do you have sense? Did your mom ever tell you, if you don't have anything good to say from in this, your mouth, don't say anything? Because if you say something and it's stupid and senseless, and it's not even, it, it, it's not even worth even coming out of your mouth, you shouldn't say it. It's just like bad breath. Don't nobody want somebody with bad breath or always talking. Just shut up if you don't have anything good to say. Because if you send these people back, you are sending them back to hell. You're not sending them back to home. Matter of fact, you are sending them back to a concentration camp. That's not what you call home. If you want the person to have a home, offer them somewhere in your house to stay. Okay? This person wants to be at peace. Aren't you happy? Is it because you are not in their situation? You are not in their boat? You are not wearing their shoes? It's so easy for you to say, oh, go back to your family. Go back. You are not making any sense. If you don't have anything good to say, don't say it. Because as you see, do it for the children. Are you serious? Do you know what kids go through when, they're, when they endure these relationships that is full of nothing but abuse? Huh? The kids suffer. They are affected so, they, are, they get affected so negatively in a very adverse way. Okay? You, 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 can, you can do that. Kids suffer way more than adults. When two grown people don't know how to act, they're abusing each other every day. Is that what, 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 what a kid's supposed to learn? Is that what, that's, that's not normal. If a child grows up thinking that two adults, a man and a woman abusing each other every day is normal, then there is something wrong. So something is totally wrong with you telling somebody to return to a relationship where there is no peace. Huh? If you want to help somebody, don't give, don't, don't send them. If that person killed herself, to, if that person killed herself tomorrow or get killed by their partner, then you will sit and be like, and start lying to the rest of the world. Oh, I told him not to go back. I told him he can't listen. I saw how the girl treated him. I told him not to go back. You lie. You lie. Black lie. You're lying. Oh, I told her not to go back. Oh, I told her. Why are you lying? Hmm? Why are you lying? In fact, don't even attend that person's funeral. If you do, I hope they reach out of their grave and pull you down there with them because you're a liar. You're a liar. You're the one send them to go die. Don't you know that unhappiness, stress, and all that stuff can kill people? You're sending somebody back to their grave. You're sending somebody to their grave very early. So my people, if you don't have no good advice to give somebody who's been suffering, 
but tell them to go suffer more, then you don't have their best interest at heart. So please shut up in people's relationship, okay? If you're happy in your relationship and you don't want to see other people happy, is the, if that's the reason why you're telling them to go back, then you're one evil bastard. So just shut up if you don't have nothing good to say.